KPM. Hello, Tivia. Hello, Mr. Q. Let us draw the moon. Alright, so I'm going to draw a moon right now. Okay, me too. Okay, this is, all, this is the moon that I saw yesterday. But why does it look different from you? Hmm, I think yours is correct. Okay. But mine is also correct too. Also correct. Huh. So let us, to know more, let us mm -hmm. find out later on. Okay. Hello, hello people at home. How's everyone doing? I hope you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining us at DDA TV KPM. Today we are looking at Science DLP for Year 5. I'm Tibia and together with us we have Mr. Q, Quack Chok Yu from SK Kampong Lindungan PJ. Hello Mr. Q. Hi Tibia, how are you? I'm very good. How are you? Looking very good? Yeah, good too. Thank you so much for joining us. And without further ado, let's also uh, welcome our interpreter, lovely interpreter for today. We have Miss Ku all the way from SMK Sultan Abdul Samad. All right, speaking about the crescent, the, the two different types of moon that we drew earlier, what do we have in store for this segment? Please oh, tell us. Okay, based on the gimmick just now, we can conclude that we are going to learn a lot about the moon today. Mm -hmm, okay. Okay, the first thing we're going to learn about the moon today is that the moon does not admit light. Ah, ah okay. The moon does not admit light. Yes, correct. Okay. So, do you ever wonder why the moon is so bright during the night? Hmm, I'm sure people at home wondered as well. Yeah. As they look up the sky, the moon shines very brightly, yes. right? Yes, sometimes it's really, really bright. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit dimmer. Dark, yes. Yeah, a little bit dimmer. Okay. okay. So, the, the reason is because the moon reflects the light from the sun. Mm, okay. Ah, so it doesn't it doesn't uh, emit its own light at all. Okay. Huh? So in order so, to prove this, mm -hmm. we are going to do a simple simulation. Okay. So to prove that the moon is you know reflecting, the stimulating. Uh, it's reflecting the light from the sun. Ah, reflecting the sun. Ah, the light from the sun is yes. what we are going to be stimulating. All right, I'm ready. Okay. So what we have here is actually a mirror. So this mirror mm -hmm. is going to act as the moon. Okay. Okay, this mirror is going to act as the moon. Okay. And what you're holding here is the screen. Okay. The screen is going to be um, acting as the earth. Earth. Okay, okay, the earth. And I will be holding the torchlight. So the torchlight is actually the sun. Sun. Okay. Right, so there's the sun, there's the moon, and here is going to be the earth. Okay, but right? in order to do this, we need the studio to dim the light now. Yeah, let's dim the light a little bit so we can see a bit more clearer. Okay, looks like it's getting dark. Okay. Okay. So we are going into the night time. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to put uh, the lights on sun. for the sun. So this is the sun, as uh -huh. I mentioned just now. This is the sun. Mm -hmm. This is the moon. moon. And you're holding the earth. You're like the observer from okay. earth. Okay? okay. So when I shine, the torchlight onto the uh, the moon. Okay. You should be able to see reflection of the ah, torchlight. Can okay. you see it? Yes, I see it. Yeah. So this reflection is actually uh, sort of like the moon is emitting this light, but it is not. Eh? Uh -huh. It is actually reflecting the light from the sun onto. Mm -hmm. So this is not the light directly from the moon, but it is the reflection yes. from the sun's light. Ah. Ah, very good, Tivia. Okay. Okay, looks like you already understand that the moon does not emit light. Okay. Uh, the studio can be lit so up again. So we can eh? have the light back again. Let's come yeah. back to daytime. <laughs> but now. I have a question for you. Okay, so ah. please tell me what question is okay, this. Okay, the question is... Hmm, okay, it goes like this. Okay. You already know that the moon emits, uh, the moon does not emit light but it reflects the light from the sun. Uh -huh. So, sometimes 
why do we not see the moon during the night? Ah, okay. So if the you know if the light that's being reflected from the sun is you know hitting the moon, we should be able to see the moon all day long, you know, all night long. Yes. All day, every day, like every night. But why do we not see on some nights? Is that your question, right? Yes. Hmm. Mm, probably it changes places. Um, <laughs> Does it no, not? No, it, no, it doesn't change okay, places. Okay, let me tell you People why. People at home help me out here, okay? He's going to be telling the answer. <laughs> yes, okay, I'll be letting you know why. Okay. The reason is because sometimes it starts to get cloudy at night. Uh, ah, because okay. it, maybe it's going to rain, okay. so it gets cloudy. So the clouds actually covering the moon, mm -hmm. so we do not see okay. the, the 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 light from the moon. Okay. Uh, so since it's cloudy, then that's why some nights we won't be able to see the moon very clearly. Yes. All right, but it is always there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. With that, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Q. We are going to be going for a very short break, and we'll come back and learn a lot more about the moon. Right. Stay tuned, people at home. The moon shines very bright every night and that's what we are going to be discussing a lot more together with Mr. Q today all the way from SK, uh, Kampung Lidung and PJ. Hello Mr. Q, welcome back. Right, welcome. Speaking about moon and speaking about the sun, how it reflects light and all. So this segment, please tell us what more you have to blow our minds. Okay. <laughs> So in this segment, thank you TVR first of all. Eh? Mm -hmm. So in this segment, we are going to learn about the movement of the moon. Okay. Okay. So right. there are actually two important movements of the moon. Mm -hmm. So the first movement is called the rotation. Mm -hmm. So rotation is, can I demonstrate? Yes, please. So rotation is when you are holding just like that. Wow. Ah. Okay? okay. So this is a rotation. rotation. Okay. okay. So the moon rotates on its own axis. Okay. okay. It rotates on its own axis. axis. All right. Axis means it's like its own its own line. Uh -huh. the, it's, that's it has actually, its own line, yes. so it only rotates that. Yes. It uh, rotates on its own line, the own invisible line. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the second movement is actually the revolution. So, do you mind holding the earth okay. and standing right in the middle here? Okay, so I'll be the earth. Yes, I'll be the moon. Okay. Okay. So, can uh, I need to revolve around you. Okay. Okay. Okay, got so, space, right? Yeah, okay. okay. So, so, just now we have really learned that this is a rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to show you what is a revolution. Okay. So, this is a revolution. You're going to move around ah, the moon. Okay. So the moon is actually moving around the earth. Okay. Okay. So that's that's how it rotates in its own axis. Yes, correct. Ah. Rotates and revolve. Rotates so and when, revolve. So the, when they are doing this together, so when they are doing this together, it's actually, uh, mm -hmm. you're going to be okay. here, you are going to do it and uh, we have to do it anti-clockwise. Huh? Okay. The movement of the rotation and the revolution is anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. So when these two movements are actually combined together, mm -hmm. we, what will happen is we are, I'm actually looking at the moon always. Okay. And the moon is always looking at the earth always. Ah, yeah, so okay. it's going to so be like that. So always faced towards yes. the earth. Yes, okay. because the speed is also the same. Mm -hmm. The speed of the moon revolving and rotating around the earth is the same, which mm -hmm. is 27 and 1 over 3 days. 27 ah, and okay. 1 over 3 days. For one rotation? Uh, yes, rotation and revolution happens together. Okay. So if you look at the slide, mm -hmm. uh, so it's, this is a revolution. Okay. Okay, and then the next slide would be about rotating and re revolution, revolution together. Okay. From the slide, you can see that, uh -huh. you see, the moon is always facing the earth. 
okay. the eyes of the moon. Okay, you can yeah. see that. Yeah. Yeah. So it, this is actually to show us that it rotates and revolves at the at same time. At the same time. time. Okay. Uh, Understood. Okay. All right. So okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. So now I would like you to answer some questions. Ah. Okay. Hmm. So Again, far, do you... another question for yes. me. Yes. So far, do you understand? Yes, so yes. I, I'm sure people at home also understood how um, there's always Earth, you know, where we all live and how uh, Moon revolves and, uh, you know, rotates around the Earth as well. Okay. So what is the question for okay. me? Okay, so first of all, I would like to recap. Can you tell me the two movements that are related to the Moon? Come again? The two, two movements, movements that are related to the Moon. Um, the two movements, I'm sure one is rotation mm -hmm. and I'm sure another one is revolution. Yes, correct. Ah, okay. Rotation and revolution. Okay, so how rotation happens? How revolution happens again? Uh, rotation is like this. You're going to move okay. on its own axis. Uh -huh. Whereas revolution, you're going to circle, circle around ah, the, okay. the, what do you call? The earth. Earth. Yes, Okay. in a circle. Okay. So next. Correct, right? Yes. Rotation and revolution, mm. what I said. Yes, correct. Right. Because at home, I'm sure you can also do your own stimulation and uh, your own role play, you know. Your brother can be the earth, your sister can be the moon and you could see how uh, rotation and revolution happens in regards to moon and the earth. Yes. Okay. So now, mm -hmm. I would like you to fill in the blanks here. Okay. Okay, so for rotation and revolution, okay. is it the same, the duration? Is the duration the same? Rotation and a revolution, yes, it's the same. Uh, can you tell me <laughs> the the duration for it before um, we put it up? Because at home, Mr. Q taught us, right? The duration for rotation and revolution. Can you guess? We did it just, just a few minutes ago, right? Yeah. Rotation and revolution is the same, right? Yes. Yes, it's the same and uh, it, it is 27 days. One, uh, 27 and 1 over 3 days uh, to 27 and 1 over 3 days. Ah, right. Okay. There you go. So, should I stick it? Yes, you stick it there once. And the other one at the revolution. Okay. So, both the revolution and rotation has similar days. 27 yes. and 1 over 3 days. Okay, so the direction of the rotation and revolution. Do you know what's the answer for it? The is it direction. clockwise or anti-clockwise? Hmm. Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Yeah. Okay. Um, one of it is clockwise, another one is anti-clockwise. Am I mm, right? No? No, you're not no. right. <laughs> okay. So both so of them are? Both of them are anti-clockwise. Yes. Okay. So people at home, if you are, you know, role playing as moon and earth, and the rotation and a revolution happens anti clockwise, so we must follow anti clockwise as we do our stimulation, our role play as well as we turn, turn, and all, right? Yes, so the answer is anti clockwise for both of rotation mm -hmm. and also revolution. Okay, so therefore, we can conclude that because mm -hmm. of the, the moon is rotating and revoluting at the same period same duration and moving okay. uh, at the same in the same direction okay. that is the reason why we always uh, we are always looking at the same side of the moon mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, because yeah. the moon is also facing us while turning right? yes the moon is always facing mm -hmm. earth Okay. Oh, we are turning. Right. Uh, for this particular segment, uh, I'm sure I did something. So please tell me how I did it, Mr. Q. Okay, I think you did fairly well. I'll give you <laughs> four stars for this. Four stars. So we'll get five stars for the next segment, hopefully, right? Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, so with that, we are going to be taking a very, very short break and we'll come back to learn and unders understand a lot more about this exciting topic, the moon. I'm sure people at home are also looking forward to learn more about this as we look up in the sky, right? We'll be back, people at home. Okay.
Ide TV KPM Welcome back people at home. I'm sure you are learning to understand about the moon, about the sun and a lot more about you know what we see up in the sky, right? And without further ado, let's also say hi. Welcome back to Mr. Q. Hi. So welcome back Mr. Q and uh, please tell us what we have for this segment. Okay, for this segment, we are going to learn about the phases of the moon. Okay. So what do you mean by phases of the moon? Is mm -hmm. the moon has different different phases? Is it phase or is a phase? Uh, no, it's another phase. Phase, it's not okay. Not like the phase level. Okay, so yes. different, and that means it's a like situation, like yes. a yes. Okay. okay, okay. So the uh, the phases we have all together eight phases of the moon that we okay. are going to mm -hmm. look uh, today. Okay. Okay. The, so the first one is called the new moon. Oh no. Uh. Okay, the new moon is actually okay. dark in colour. Alright. Okay, it's all black in colour, mm -hmm. which means that uh, during this uh, particular time, mm -hmm. the sun is actually behind the it's moon. It's called the new moon, is it? Yes, the okay. new moon is actually is black in colour, therefore we, can, we, cannot, see, we okay. cannot see the moon during the night. Okay. Okay, so right. sometimes you'll be wondering like, why is there no moon tonight? <laughs> ah, but so actually, that means it might be new moon. Yes. Yes, correct. Uh -huh, because uh -huh, okay. the, the sun is actually at the back of the moon, mm -hmm. so there's no light to mm -hmm. be reflected towards the, the onto Earth. Okay. That's why we do not see the moon. But the moon is still there. Mm -hmm. So right. this is called I'm the new sure moon. I'm sure people at home, right? I'm sure all of you have wondered when you look up in the sky, some days there's moon, some days there's no moon, right? Yeah. We all have wondered. So you will know the scientific reason behind why there's no moon today. Ah, mm. All right? Okay. So next, uh, following uh, after the new moon, we are going to see the crescent moon. Okay. So the crescent moon is when after a few days, like three, after three to four days, mm -hmm. you will start to see a little bit of light coming out from the moon. Uh, just, just at the, at the yes, side? Yes, just like at the crescent. slide. Yes, inverted C. Yeah? Uh -huh. Inverted C. Mm -hmm. So during this time, uh, the moon has already moved into a position slightly whereby the, the sun can uh, shine light onto the moon and the moon actually reflects the light of the sun towards the earth. Mm -hmm. so like, we, like how you mentioned in terms of the moon um, rotating and revolutioning, right? Yes, it will uh, rotate and revolu uh, revolu uh, re revolution. Revolution? Yes, so because of that, the moon changes its position. Ah, okay. uh, when it changes its position, there are some lights that can be uh, reflected ah. into Okay. Earth, onto All right, Earth. understood. Right. Okay. okay. So this is the inverted C moon, eh? okay. which is called the crescent moon. Okay. Okay. After after for a while, the moon will also start moving its position. Okay. Okay, and then you will, you will get to see the half moon. Okay. So the half moon is when the light of when the moon is halfly lit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this half is the half dark, half light. Yes, half moon. Mm -hmm. So this will take about two to three days as well. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, so for for two to three days, you'll be looking at the same moon, which is the half moon. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Moving on, where you, where the light is cover up a bigger portion of okay. the moon, this will be called the gibbous moon. The gibbous moon. Uh, the gibbous moon. This is okay. called the gibbous moon. Uh. This, this phase of the moon will take about two to three days, three to four days actually. Mm -hmm. uh. So this is uh, not like a crescent but a bigger uh, uh, area of being yes. lit, right? Yeah, the bigger area of the moon being lit up. Ah, okay. okay. And then on the 15th, on the 14th, 15th, 16th day of the month, you'll get to see the full moon. Mm -hmm. So the full moon happens when the, the, everything is bright. Okay. So the whole, uh, the whole part of the moon is Mm -hmm. That's well. when if we go under under the sky, you know, at at night especially, yeah. you look up the sky, it's very bright. Yeah, and it's wrong. Yeah, it's the, wrong. the moon really reflects and shines yeah, uh, very moon, brightly. The whole moon is actually reflecting the light from mm -hmm. the sun onto Earth. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we get to see the uh, what do you call? The full moon. Mm -hmm. Then following on, you'll get to see uh, I would like to explain to you the phases of the moon and the dates. Huh? Let us look at the dates okay. from the slide. Okay, so the new moons, the new moon is actually from the first day to the third day, mm -hmm. where the crescent moon takes about four days, which is from the third to the sixth day. Okay. 
and then half moon is from day 7 to day 10. Mm -hmm. Gibbous is about 11 to 13. Mm -hmm. And full moon is 14 to 16, like I mentioned just now. Okay. Then after that, they will slowly move back into the gibbous moon phase. Mm. But the part that is lit up is different. Mm -hmm. So first, um, the first part of the gibbous moon mm -hmm. is the right side being lit up, correct? Correct. The second part of the gibbous moon is the left side being lit up. Okay. Uh, so it's like the moon uh, rotate, rotates uh, because it rotates and revolves. Mm -hmm. So a different part of the moon is being shown mm -hmm. on the earth. Okay. Then you have the half moon, mm -hmm. which is the opposite from the half moon that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. So first of all, the right side is lit up. Now the left side is lit up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll move into the crescent, mm -hmm. which is uh, you see everything is slowly getting darker and darker, right? Yeah. And finally, you go back into the same phase, which is the, the first moon. phase, which is the new moon. Okay. Yes. So that's the cycle of uh, the phases of the moon. Yes, of correct. Okay. Now we are going to look at this. Uh, this, uh, what do you call? This slide is actually showing us how does it, when it rotates, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now when you, you look at the, what do you call? The slide, yeah? Okay. So the first one is called the new moon. Mm -hmm. Then you're moving it down anti-clockwise. Mm -hmm. Anti-clockwise, uh, the second moon will be called the crescent moon. Mm -hmm. And then you get a half moon mm -hmm. and the gibbous moon. And finally, you get the whole moon lit up, mm -hmm. which is the full moon. Mm -hmm. And slowly, we move back into the gibbous moon mm -hmm. phase, the half moon phase, um, the crescent moon phase. Mm -hmm. And last of all, we go back to the new moon. This is the whole cycle of the mm -hmm. pieces of the moon. Okay. So, Tivia, yes. I think this is a lot to absorb. Are you okay with it? <laughs> I'm good. I'm just trying to understand the faces of moon and yes. uh, relate it to our day-to-day -day life, right? Because mm -hmm. some days when we look up to the sky, the moon is full, right? We can see the, the, the uh, moon very bright and some days it's half lit, half bright. So that way uh, we'll be able to, you know, um, understand our day-to-day -day sky a bit, bit, a bit more better, right? People at home. Yes. Okay? So now, since you already understand it better, mm -hmm. I would like to you to answer some of the questions on the board. Okay. So, so this is a bit uh, different. I would okay. like you to draw mm -hmm. the faces of the moon. Right. Okay. Yes. So it's a challenge for me. Yes. So the first part of the moon mm -hmm. is going to be a new moon. Yes. Okay. So the so new, new moon, moon is in between the sun one. and the earth. And so new moon is all dark in dark. color black. Yeah, because right? there is no light being reflected mm -hmm. from the sun onto earth. Okay. Okay. So next. So second. It's going to go anti-clockwise, which is moving downwards. Yes, correct. And then you'll get a crescent. Ah. So the crescent, so you're going to color the left side of the... Yes, correct. Okay, correct. Correct. Ah, okay. Then moving so on. The third one. You got the hang of it. Is the half moon. Yes. Where are you going to color it? Yes. Am You're I right. right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. So then we have this. Correct. It's, it's going to uh, uh, C. Is it's it like the normal C. Normal C. Okay. And then color the the right side. Not not there. Okay. This uh, one. Yes. Okay. I okay. just learned, so apologies on the Okay, finally mistake. the whole okay. thing is going to be bright. Wow, excellent. It looks like an orange. <laughs> okay. So this is fully lit up, right? Okay, so bright. the next part of the moon is going to be the opposite of what you drew before. Mm, over here. Yes. So it's going to so be, just yes. So going to be this. Here. Okay. Yeah. The right side, correct. Okay. And then now, opposite of it. C and then color it. The, yeah, not this part, the other part. No, no, no. Oh, the, this, other, part. the other part. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Wow. <laughs> Understanding the faces of moon is challenging, but drawing it is a bit more challenging. But you know, slowly we'll, we'll get the hang of it as we draw more, yes, right? Yes, I think we should do a bit of simulation to help you understand better. Okay, sure, let's do it. Okay, so. I would like okay. you, so you are going to be the observer okay. from Earth. 
Okay. And so this is going to be the moon. Okay. And I am going to be the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to face me. Okay. So later on, when I ask you to move, you're going to move the moon. Okay, so the moon is gonna the moon is gonna rotate and revol revol revolution. Yes. Ah. So you're going According to have to uh, you're going okay. to look, uh, see which part of it is going to darken okay. and lighten. Okay. All right. So let's begin the stimul stimulation, uh, Mr. Q. Okay. So the first one is called the new moon right now, where you cannot see any moon at all. Okay. okay. So because there's the the sunlight is mm -hmm. not being reflected onto the earth. Okay. But as it moves, it rotates and revolves. Slowly, we get to see this. Ah, ah, you still crescent. remember this? What is this? This is a crescent moon. Uh -huh, right now. Correct. And then, when the moon starts to rotate even further, you see half of the moon being lit up. Okay. This is called the half moon. Okay. And then, you start, you continue moving again until you see a gibbous moon being formed. Okay. Most, which shows that half, most part of the Moon is being lit up. Okay. Okay, and as it goes further, you will get to see the full, full moon. moon, where everything is being lit up. Whereby the sun, the the moon is reflecting mm -hmm. the light from the sun onto Earth. Uh, have you seen this type of moon? Yes, of course. I've been to beach. Uh, I've seen uh, the reflection of the full moon. Oh, that's ah. awesome. Okay, all right. That's about it. I hope everyone at home fully mm -hmm. understands the crescent moon, the new moon, mm -hmm. uh, gibbous moon and also the full moon. Right. All right, you can light up the studio once again. All right. So, all right, people at home, pretty much that's the faces of moon and we have experienced it live here in the studio mm. uh, using our moon and also the sunlight as torchlight huh? all right so overall um, feedback about my performance please tell me okay because you did a little bit mystic here and there yeah i but know it's still a good try it's still yes. a good try because it's, my, it was, it's been many years since i learned the face <laughs> of moon so to learn it back again and to immediately do it a bit uh, difficult but i'm sure people at home practice uh, like yes practice uh, makes like perfect. this as well yes, yes. Okay. okay, so I think you get a four, four stars for this. Okay, four is Good not effort. very Good bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, overall, uh, a summary for this particular segment, please, because okay. I'm sure it's a little bit, you know, uh, you know, heavy to grasp as well. So probably can just quick uh, give okay. a quick summary for the people as well. Okay, so first of all, today we we learn about the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is the moon does not emit its light; it mm -hmm. reflects the light from the sun okay. onto earth. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we learn about the movement of the moon, which is it rotates mm -hmm. on its own axis and it revolves around the earth as well. Okay, on uh, the duration is 27 and 1 over 3 days mm -hmm. anti-clockwise. Okay. And lastly, in this segment, we learn about the phases of the moon and there is altogether 8 phases of the moon. Mm -hmm. We start with the new moon, and then with the crescent, half moon, gibbous moon, full moon, and then you rotate it back to the gibbous moon, mm -hmm. half moon. Um, what do you call gibbous moon? crescent. Yes, crescent. New yeah, moon. Yes, new moon. Yes. Yeah, and the faces okay. of a moon it uh, repeats itself, yes. right? Every month. Yes, every month. Okay. So every month we'll have a new moon and we have a full moon as well. Right, so people at home, I'm sure you want to do this revision again, right? Because to understand a little bit better. So please tell us, Mr. Q, where people can find this material. We can get it from the Delima KPM website. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Q, for joining us, you know, demonstrating Earth, Sun, <laughs> the Moon, you know, the Moon. I'm sure people at home I have a better perspective, I would say, understand a little bit more about what we see up in the sky, you know. At night, you'll be able to identify the faces of the Moon a bit better right now, people at home. Right, with that, we're going to be saying bye-bye to Mr. Q. Thank you so much, Mr. Q, for explaining uh, this uh, difficult process, but a little bit more easier for us to 
understand. You're welcome. You're thank welcome. Thank you so much. And let's also thank our lovely interpreter, Miss Ku, for joining us and interpreting the session as well along with us. With that, uh, take care, people at home. Bye bye. This is Divya. Thank you for joining us at DJ TV KPM. Until we meet again. Bye bye.